This video is about using margin of error to find confidence intervals. All right, as soon as we start talking margin of error, I have to mention that there are two different formulas for margin of error that we have dealt with. This is your general basic margin of error formula, one over the square root of the sample size. But sometimes we need a more powerful, beefy margin of error formula. And it looks like this, z-score times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. This is the one that we're going to use when we need a specific level of confidence. Um, and it's the z-score that we use to determine what level of confidence we have. So if I want a 95%, if I want to be 95% sure that the true answer is in my interval, I'm going to use this z-score and so on. So if they speak about confidence levels, um, you're going to use these z-scores and um, we're going to use this formula. If confidence interval, if confidence level is not mentioned, then we're just going to use your basic margin of error formula. So looking at number four, you want to find the mean salary for NCAA Division I college football coaches. You obtain the salaries of a random sample of 100 coaches. The sample mean is 1,500,000 with a standard deviation of 200,000. Find the 95% confidence interval for the above data. Okay, okay, okay. Um, because they're mentioning uh, the confidence level, 95%, then we know, um, let me just delete this real quick. Um, we know that we're going to use this formula right here. Uh, and specifically, okay, since we're going to do the 95% confidence level, we're going to use a z-score of uh, 1.96. So here we go. You start by calculating the margin of error. All right, so my margin of error is going to be that z-score, all right, 1.96 times the standard deviation, 200,000, over the square root of the sample size. Um, 100 coaches. All right, so this will give me my margin of error. So let's put that in the calculator, shall we? I think I'll go ahead and show it just this once, but um, after this, I'll do it off camera. So we had 1.9, whoa, 1.96, all right, fraction mode, and we had 200,000 divided by the square root of 100, which is really just 10 in this case. But at any rate, kabam! 39,200, that's my MOE, margin of error. Okay, um, now I will take that margin of error and I will take the sample mean and um, I'm going to add and subtract my margin of error uh, to get my interval. So I'm going to be doing this type thing. Okay, so I'm going to take my 1,500,000 sample mean and first I will subtract 39,200. Okay, and then I will, you know, all these commas are going to get confusing. Let me erase some of these commas. All right, and then I will take my 1,500,000 and I will add 39,200. Okay, this will give me my 95% confidence interval. Okay, so this means that, um, or here's the uh, 
the sample mean, all right? I had my 100 coaches. I came up with um, this average for their uh, salary. But I can be 95% confident that the average salary for all of the coaches is somewhere in this interval. So let's do the exact same thing for the 99% um, confidence interval. The calculations will be the same, except for instead of using the 1.96, we will instead be using the 2.575. That goes with 99% confidence. All right, so there's the setup. Uh, just put that in your calculator. All right, I'm getting 51,500 for my margin of error. Okay, um, so we're going to once again have to add and subtract this. Um, add and subtract this number to the sample mean. Subtract first, then add. All right, so this would be my 99% confidence interval. I can be 99% sure that the real average salary of all the coaches is somewhere in here. Now notice, as the margin of error increases, since this is the number that we're adding and subtracting, if this number is bigger, then that means the spread is going to increase, okay? The bigger this margin of error is, the wider this net is. That's why we can be more confident that the real answer is going to be in there somewhere because it's a wider interval. It's a, so, of course, it's more likely that the truth is in there somewhere. 